Isn't my makeup absolutely stunning right now? I'm in love with this look. I think I would wear it anywhere. I wore this for my birthday. I know, I know you think there's something off with it and you're probably wondering what to if you haven't already read the title. So let me not get into more of this and tell you how I do my eyebrows because no matter what you do to your eyes, no matter what lashes you wear, no matter what highlighter you use, at the end of the day, if your brow game isn't strong, even the most glamorous makeup, I mean, this is the maximum makeup that I would ever wear and this is actually the makeup I wore for my birthday. So no matter what makeup you wear and the amount of makeup you wear, if you don't do your eyebrows well, it's just not going to look fine. Your eyebrows totally balance out your face. And I know you've seen a lot of examples of this online, but I just want to show you how I look like without doing my eyebrows. And today I'm going to show you how I do my eyebrows because this has been requested way too many times. And this is the easiest thing ever. Like the way I do my eyebrows is the easiest thing ever. I don't actually make a huge effort with my eyebrows. And I decided to finally let you guys in on my secret. not a secret is the fact that you would definitely need an angled brush like this to do your eyebrows to fill in your brows and mine is from real techniques it's from the real techniques eye starter set or something like that it's pretty good and the rest of the brushes in the set are pretty good too so if you want to check the set out that'll be great i'll put a link down below where you can buy it where i bought it from and i use this and my secret weapon the thing that i actually use to fill in my brows is this. This is my Maybelline Colossal Volume Kajal. I have used my Lacme Iconic Kajal in the past and now I use this and they do a fantastic job. Alternatively, I have even used my Maybelline Gel Eyeliner to fill in my brows. That's how I used to do it once upon a time. I really like doing it with these because this is just easier. Like the gel eyeliner sets really fast so you need to work with it quicker. But this doesn't set that fast. You can actually move it around. If you've messed up, you can correct it. And it's still once set. It sets a little later than what this would. This sets really quick. This takes a little while more to set. And once this sets, it doesn't budge either on your skin. This is even... Uh, a little more sheer than this this is very intense so once you have got a hang with your you know colossal kajal or your lakme iconic kajal which sets a kajal that sets don't use a homemade kajal that won't set and that might just run down your face don't use that so if you have a kajal like this and a brush like this you're good to go so i take it on a brush directly like this and i don't use this kajal to line my eyes obviously because i use it on my brush can you see my bald patch over here, right over here, because when she messed it up the last time I went to get my brows threaded. I start off lining the lower part and then I go and line the upper part. Basically, I first create an outline for my brows and then I fill it up inside. Soft and quick strokes. I'm just going to line this and now I'm going to just extend my tail downwards a little because I have really short brows otherwise So now that we've lined the outer part, we just go in with the same amount of product because now the intensity has also lessened and then we can start coming inwards. And this I fill in a horizontal way. So in horizontal, tiny horizontal strokes, I start from the top, I go to the bottom. So these choppy little movements ensure that your brows over here don't look very filled in like an angle over here because that is what looks very fake. So then I'm just going to use this tip, the first tip of this and pull it out outwards. 
like that. On a regular day-to-day -day basis, I don't do this. But on days where I know that it's going to be a long night, I like to set this with some powder eyeshadow. So I'm going into my Makeup Revolution Iconic Pro 2 palette and I'm using this dark brown over here and this grey eyeshadow over here. I just take a combination of both of those eyeshadows on the same brush and tap off the excess. I don't drag it around too much, I am just basically pressing this product into my brows. Here you still need to drag it alone. Now comes the third part which is as important as the first part. You need to set your brows in place so that they won't budge at all. And this part also plumps the hair that I have over here, I mean my eyebrow hair. So it makes this look very natural when you plump your hair because once you set it with kajal and a powder, your hair somehow magnifies when it goes inside somewhere. So this actually looks quite unnatural your life. So when you do the third step, your brows look very natural. Before this, if you feel that you've put in too much product, you can just go in with a clean spoolie and brush it all out. I haven't done that and I usually don't do the clean spoolie thing, that's why I'm not going to do that. But for the third product to set my brows, I'm going to use a, a mascara, a waterproof mascara for this. Because I can't find a nice brow gel in India that doesn't cost an arm and a leg. So I use my Maybelline Colossal Volume Mascara, it's a waterproof one. So I just start at the bottom and I just flick my hair upwards. Ensure that you use a waterproof mascara because you don't want sweat to ruin your brows and you don't want black brows running down your face. So I just use this. Make sure that if you're using this, you clean the wand really well and then you go in and set your brows with this or get a smaller, thinner wand because this is a really fluffy wand. So if you're not used to it, it's very difficult to do it with this. So once you flick your hair upwards, you can tell that it actually separates your hair and it looks like hair, it looks like really thick black hair. Don't you think it makes a huge difference and pulls your entire look together? I always do my brows after I finish my entire makeup because I find that if I do my brows before I put on my foundation, I find that the foundation tends to get into you know bits and places in my brows and it's very difficult for me to you know go over it and correct it so I just prefer finishing my face first and then do my, doing my brows last if you like what you see over here and you want to know how I got this look wait for my video that's coming up on Saturday and you know how I got this look this is the look I wore for my birthday with a little bit of a change that you'll see in that video and that is about it guys i hope you enjoyed this tutorial as well if you did don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i'll see you soon